so again we will do the same exercise as before that do we have enough terms here to solve enough equations sorry enough equations uh, to solve for the unknowns right so if i do the same exercise here okay so if i simply say how many equations how many unknowns i have so i have uh, one equation for k okay so i have one equation for turbulence kinetic energy i'm only sol going to solve this particular equation okay this is my turbulence kinetic energy equation k and uj bar i am going to get from solving the mean momentum let's say i have access to it so it's not a, going to be a problem on the right hand side i have unknowns so i have p prime uh, ui prime so that's three unknowns so i have three unknowns there the viscous diffusion rate is not a problem because it is depending on the turbulence kinetic energy k itself that's why modeling community like this equation if you start with the other uh, as i said you can start derive this equation differently this will introduce unknowns the viscous diffusion rate okay this the way we have defined uh, derived this is now useful because turbulence kinetic energy uh the transport of it due to viscosity is depending on turbulence kinetic energy itself so one can iteratively solve this in cfd techniques so this is not an unknown for us this now ui prime ui prime is sum so it loses the directional dependency so what is the order of this tensor how many unknowns are there here three unknowns it's a it has become a vector now ui prime ui prime it is sum summed up means it becomes a scalar so only uj prime is the vector right so this is a vector now so you have this u ui prime ui prime uj prime this is 3 for j equal to 1 2 3 you get three unknowns here but what about the production rate of turbulence kinetic energy for that we need to solve Reynolds stresses to solve Reynolds stresses it has more unknowns okay right so in any in any case to solve turbulence kinetic energy i need Reynolds stresses which i which is not which is an unknown for me so this is an unknown so Reynolds stress is an unknown here ui prime uj prime that is since it's a symmetric tensor six and then the dissipation rate do ui prime by do xj do ui prime by do xj right it's a second order tensor right again nine or six terms as you can think of so the dissipation rate is other uh, unknown here if i just remove this make it a bigger equations unknowns I have the dissipation rate epsilon, which is uh, nu do u i prime by do x j do u i prime by do x j average. So this is giving me additional six or nine unknowns. The way you can think of here six or nine. Hmm? So again, turbulence closure problem. I found a way to make the Reynolds stress equation simple by deriving an equation for turbulence kinetic energy but it is still throwing me more unknowns one equation many unknowns right 21 unknowns okay so hence there is a turbulence closure problem again so no matter what you do this turbulence closure keeps coming and therefore you have to start modeling okay make some approximations so before we do that we have this uh, uh, i think the number of equations are sufficient now we don't need to derive more if we if needed i'll 
of course i'll derive but right now i think we have enough equations to start considering modeling but before that we have not understood certain terms right we have readily understood that uh, why this pressure strain rate term is called pressure strain rate this particular term right that i showed to you that it is dealing redistribution but the diffusion rate and the production rate term and the dissipation rate term these three terms i have not told you why we are calling them as such so we'll look into this term so the first term is dissipation rate okay dissipation or i can say epsilon here right epsilon is the dissipation rate of tke if you notice carefully there is a negative sign there right if you go back you see here it's minus of this particular term and what is epsilon here what is the sign of epsilon positive it's always positive here this was not revealed in the reynolds stress equation where we cannot tell right but here it is always going to be positive that means it is a sink term in the context of cfd it is a sink term this is draining the energy from your system okay hence the name destruction rate or dissipation rate of turbulence kinetic energy and it is a negative rate of change if you look at every term as rate of change like the first term is unsteady unsteady rate of change of turbulence kinetic energy then the last term epsilon is the negative rate of change of turbulence kinetic energy right so epsilon this term is essentially you have new do ui prime by do x j squared and averaged and therefore epsilon is always greater than or equal to 0 okay and the sign is negative in the tke equation that is you get minus epsilon indicating it's a negative rate of change indicating that it's a negative rate of change of tke therefore the name destruction rate or dissipation rate okay hence the name dissipation or destruction rate this was straight forward to understand why we call epsilon a dissipation rate term hmm? okay now there is an another term which is called diffusion rate okay the other term is diffusion rate turbulence kinetic energy so the diffusion rate term to understand this we need to make some kind of an idealization uh, to see but you i hope you'll uh, you know get what i'm trying to convey here so to understand the diffusion rate or it's also there is a divergence term right so there's a divergence is essentially you can say this as a a divergence term here so the diffusion rate of turbulence kinetic energy this particular term looks like you have do by do x j of i have minus 1 by rho p prime ui prime delta ij minus half ui prime ui prime uj prime plus i have this uh new do k by do xj right is it correct new do k by do xj let me go back and see yeah new do k by do x correct okay 
so the pressure diffusion rate turbulent diffusion rate viscous diffusion rate of turbulence kinetic energy the transport of k due to pressure viscosity and turbulence itself three terms so now to understand this let's consider uh, that turbulence is already existing in a box okay so now you consider right consider turbulence in a bounded box so that means let's say i have uh, turbulence structures let's say I have some turbulence and I am going to consider this in a particular box here. Okay. So I have a box. A bounded box. Let's say there are turbulent eddies inside. Turbulence is already present and I am considering a closed box around it. So why I am doing this is uh, now if I have this box of some volume let us say V okay, and or V0 let us say and the surface S0. Now I can integrate, I can make a volume integral to see what does it do this particular term. Okay. So to do that I simply say consider a volume integral here. volume integral right of course i have dv i am considering a volume integral of this entire diffusion rate term okay any particular uh, theorem that we can use here gauss divergence theorem right so using gauss divergence theorem here using cos divergence theorem that's why i mentioned this diffusion rate or divergence because you have a dou by dou xj or nabla dot in vector uh, format right so using gauss theorem or divergence theorem so you would get you can convert the volume integral into a surface integral that is if i have a volume integral let's say dou j dv i can make it into a surface integral with the nj unit vector nj ds this is your gauss divergence theorem so if i apply this here what do i get i get essentially the surface integral is zero and then i have the n j of minus 1 by rho p prime u i prime delta i j minus of u i prime u i prime u j prime the entire bracket term as it is mu dou k by dou x j okay d s so now i consider this box box in a sense i have uh, a fixed box that is walls are there bounded box that means six six walls are there here right six walls or solid surfaces i am just assuming that turbulence is already existing and there is a box here now if i have a surface integral i can evaluate the surface integral by applying the boundary condition now what is the boundary condition for it is essentially containing even the k here right this particular k k is nothing but your half of ui prime ui prime so essentially what i have is ui prime velocity fluctuating velocity what does fluctuating velocity what happens to that on the wall for using your no slip and kinematic condition right it becomes 0. 1 and 3 becomes 0 due to your uh, uh, no slip, 2 becomes 0 due to kinematic condition. The wall normal u2 prime 
is kinematic so it cannot go inside right it's a kinematic condition and u1 prime u3 prime or wall parallel so they stick on the wall so you have a no slip condition so by applying the by applying the boundary conditions boundary condition on the wall surfaces that is your no slip comma kinematic boundary conditions if i do this i get ui prime is going to be zero since ui prime is zero the entire term zero so what does this mean it means that the net integral is zero so the rate of change of this particular term the, the contribution of this particular diffusion rate to the net rate of change of k is zero that means if turbulence is already produced there inside it is merely transporting it from one direction to the other direction it is only diffusing it is transporting due to viscosity due to turbulence and due to the pressure field it is not generating not distracting not redistributing the net contribution is not there okay so it is only transporting within the box that is the way you can understand this and hence we have given the name diffusion rate or transport okay so therefore therefore the net integral the integral here is zero right which implies the net contribution contribution to the rate of change of turbulence kinetic energy by this uh, transport term transport term is zero it is neither it is neither creating nor destructing turbulence kinetic energy okay but only transporting from one point to the other position only diffusion but not transport but only transporting okay it is neither creating nor distracting tk but only transporting that is diffusing due to viscosity due to pressure due to turbulence itself this particular term is now is it okay to understand so the dissipation rate we understood why it is dissipation rate diffusion rate we understood why it is diffusion rate right and then uh, the only particular term that is left out in the equation is the production rate okay for that i need to derive one more equation so you have to bear with me that one more equation if i derive that equation itself will tell you that it is a production rate okay so we'll stop here